I guess this week is officially Egg Week on the Frank Tefano YouTube channel. And today we're going to compare supermarket brands versus the eggs we now have available on Frankie's Free Range Meat.com and just go over some marketing terms as well. I did a video on you know natural, free range, grass fed, organic, what those terms mean in regards to meat, I think sometime last year. I'm not sure if I touched on eggs in that video. I might have. Either way, we're going to take a look and discuss those things. I will say uh, the most significant thing that has changed is, you know, usually people look at the color of the egg yolk as an indicator of quality. <laughs> the uh, companies, the corporate chills, they caught on to that. And now they can just put things like red pepper flakes in the feed that will change the egg yolk color without actually being an indicator of the nutritional status. So you really have to trust the person you're buying the eggs from, ask them what's in the chicken feed, and if they can't give you a straight answer, hey, it's probably not worth buying the eggs. So these are lined up from lowest to highest quality. And the regular extra large grade A brown eggs are $349. The organic valley eggs are $579 and the Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs are $7.49. And then with shipping and everything included, the eggs on Frankie's syringe meat are around that price point, but um, it's a feed that you do not have access to in the stores. So again, these are basically the regular eggs you're gonna get. These are organic, these are supposedly pasture-raised, but probably supplemented with the vegetarian feed. And then these are corn and soy free feed, also absent of fish meal. So before we crack into these eggs, we're going to go over these marketing terms. So outdoor access, extra large brown grade A eggs. This just means conventional eggs. That's really it. You know, they build a little like backyard for the chickens near the warehouse that they're clumped together in and they never really go out to see it. So these are nothing special. This is just like they're trying to be clever with the marketing terms to make you think that the eggs are healthy when in reality it's just corn and soy crap feedlot chicken. This Organic Valley certified organic free range. That's actually the same as outdoor access. Free range just means they have access to a certain area of land, but it doesn't mean they're actually using it. No hormones, no antibiotics. That's typical with all chickens now. These eggs are getting a organic corn and soy feed. So this is basically regular conventional feed, but they slap an organic certification on it. So the omega-6 is still out of whack. It's still not good for you, but it does have less chemicals, less pollutants, less toxins than the regular eggs. Now we have the pasture-raised eggs from Vital Farms, and these are supposedly out on pasture. I don't know the specifics. Uh, they definitely supplement corn and soy in the feed on these eggs and Vital Farms also has an organic version of these eggs that are actually cheaper, which doesn't make much sense to me. I guess the cheaper eggs are just on the organic corn and soy feed, just like the Organic Valley eggs. So we're assuming that the Organic Valley and the Organic uh, Vital Farms eggs are gonna be the same, but uh, I don't have both of those today to compare. And then we have the eggs available on Frankie's syringe meat. This is a corn and soy free feed. And that's really what you want. You want to remove those allergies. You want to remove the low quality crap. And that's really what's best on the market right now, unless you're about to get some wild turkey eggs. So let's crack into these and see what they look like. Now, as I'm cracking these eggs, it reminded me one indicator of quality eggs is that they're pretty hard to crack. So, you know, a lot of the regular conventional supermarket eggs, they're very, very easy to break open. Sometimes you just touch them and they start cracking. But if you have eggs from a local farm, generally speaking, the shell is going to be more rigid. That could also have to do with the calcium content. So the regular eggs actually look really, really dark. You know, so they're definitely putting some type of pepper flakes or carotene or some type of supplement in these eggs to make them look like they're supposedly higher quality, but you know, the shell is very easy to crack open. And from like a, 
a visual richness perspective, you, you can't really tell much. You know, when we move on to the organic Valley eggs, I would say these are, you know, way healthier than the Vital Farms pasteurized eggs because we know that um, these aren't getting some sort of artificial carotene or red pepper flake supplement to, to make the egg yolk starker. So it's not that bad, but we know it's, it's also not a good quality egg. You, might, you shouldn't really include those in your diet. Vital Farms pasteurized eggs, you know, is this coloring from the birds being on pasture or is it from them putting something in the feed? It's hard to say. You know, it's hard to say. I, I think Vital Farms is very good at marketing. I think they have an incredible profit margin on their eggs. I think they're doing very well, but you know, I don't think they provide a quality product, to be honest. And the eggs we have on Frankie's Strange Meat right now are visibly the darkest colored yolks out of all of these eggs. And there's nothing artificial or synthetic in the feed, and it's corn and soy free. It's difficult to tell, guys. The visual stuff, to me, you know, the coloring isn't really what I look at. You know, does it look like a healthy yolk? Is it fresh? You know, when you crack these conventional lowest quality eggs open, the yolks are already broken. That's a very bad sign. How, how tight is the yolk together? These look okay, these look okay, but these look very, like, tight and uniform, and the proteins are very strong. Same with the separation of the egg whites. That also has a lot to do with the freshness. You, know, you could really tell where the egg whites are in these eggs. You could see the outline of the egg white on these two around the yolk and then you can see like the extra kind of watery egg white content. But this, it's very hard to see. This is pretty hard to see and this, you can't tell. It looks like a, a soupy mess of egg white. So visually, outside of color, there's still some things you can look at. And if you do really want to relate to color, you don't want to go with like how dark it is. You want to look with how, how rich it is. You know, you could almost tell by looking at it. It just feels like, you know, even though this orange color and this orange color kind of look the same, it, it still looks different, visually speaking. The richness of this yolk, the firmness, all that stuff, it, it, it feels different than this, even though the actual color on like a color wheel is almost identical. And it's really about the margin, guys. You know, these conventional eggs, you know, if they're getting sold for three fifty, dollars I would be surprised if the supermarket's paying more than a dollar a dozen for them. The Organic Valley, you know, even if they're selling for around $6, it's, it's probably $2 a dozen that they're paying for them, but they don't sell as much of them and the volume isn't as high. And the Vital Farms eggs, the fact that these are, you know, seven eight dollars a dozen in a supermarket and they're probably getting them for two dollars a dozen very hard margin product but i'm not sure how much volume they sell and then we have you know the legit stuff the corn and soy free eggs and you know, in my mind you know why are you going to pay four five six seven eight dollars for eggs if you can spend a dollar or two more and get corn and soy free you know it's it kind of sucks that They've been able to use these marketing terms to take advantage of the general public and people don't understand what goes into the feed, but what are you gonna do? Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and learned a little something. If you could please drop a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You guys can go to frank stefanocom to check out all of my businesses and support me. We have the eggs available on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. I'm wearing my black sweatshirt, black sweatpants, silver lined clothing from wifishielding.com. So definitely check that out, guys. Hopefully we don't have uh, too many egg issues testing out the shipping the first few weeks. But if you guys have any issues, please uh, just reach out to me. And we always just issue an instant refund. If you can, just please send us pictures and let us know. Um, what the order number is.